Alright, welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel. We just beat a giant gorilla and um, caught the thieves red-handed. So let's see if uh, what happens to them now. So Lisa did level up, which is nice, but she didn't learn anything new, which is not nice. Uh, that was kind of terrifying. I thought we were done for. Still, at least we were able to defeat it. Reen, what was that skill you just performed? Oh, it was something I've been working on for a while. This was the first chance I had to put it through its paces, though. I definitely feel like I'm getting the hang of it now. I see. You really are amazing, Reen. Yeah, you're always there to help us when we need it most. No, that's not true. There's really only so much I can do on my own. We wouldn't have been able to defeat that thing if we hadn't all been working together as a team. This was a victory for Group A as a whole. <laughs> well said. Indeed. Unbelievable. Ugh, what are these kids even doing here? That bastard, this wasn't supposed to happen. Who are you talking about? What? Uh-oh. It seems we have some unwelcome guests. There they are. And they're not alone. Put your hands in the air. Don't try to resist. Uh, why are you surrounding us and not them? Keep your mouth shut. Don't think we're going to go easy on you just because you're students. <laughs> Looks like all your hard work was for nothing. Sucks to be you. They're not even trying to hide their involvement. Utterly shameless. You're jumping to an awful lot of conclusions. I see two groups of people and a collection of stolen goods, but no indication which group is responsible. Do you have any way to prove that the four of you aren't the perpetrators? What? Do you intend to frame us? This is preposterous. I'm just telling you that you need to mind your own business and learn your place. The Cruzan province is the territory of Duke Alberea, and I will not have a gaggle of bratty students poking their noses where they don't belong. You will back down now, or we'll be more than happy to arrest you right here and drag you to Berea Hard City, kicking and screaming. Damn. This is ridiculous. I'm afraid you'll be doing no such thing. Uh, what? Uh, who's there? It, it's... The, the, the Railway Military Police. Railway Military Police. Yeah, the RMP. RCMP? No, RMP. They're supposed to be the most elite unit in the whole of the Imperial Army. The Icy Maiden? Why has the Chancellor's dogs come here? What is the meaning of this? This area is under the jurisdiction of the Cruzan Provincial Army. Ah, uh, the Imperial Army has no right to intervene. With all due respect, Keldic is a major interchange station in our railway network. So in point of fact, we have every right to investigate any incidents that occur in this general vicinity. As I'm sure you well know. Uh. And in accordance with our investigation thus far, after having questioned all those connected to the incident, we have concluded that it is impossible for any of these students to be guilty of these crimes. Do you wish to contest this judgment? <laughs> I suppose not. Well then, may I suggest you leave us to do our jobs? The RMP will take responsibility for returning all of the stolen goods to their rightful owners as well. Uh. 
Men, withdraw. We're returning to Keldic. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. You've got to be kidding me. We had a deal. Take them into custody. Y yes, ma'am. Crap. We're totally boned. There's no point in resisting. You're coming with us. Damned iron blood dog. Uh, she's really pretty. Is she really part of the RMP? <laughs> Thank you all very much for your assistance. My name is Captain Claire Revelt of the Railway Military Police. We're a division of the Imperial Army. And you are the visiting students from Thor's Military Academy, are you not? I'll need to file a report about what happened here, so would the four of you mind accompanying me? Well, at least somebody saved us. We really are grateful for everything you've done today. Thanks to you, the stolen goods have been recovered and those responsible have been found and arrested. I can't possibly express my gratitude. I'm just glad we were able to help. Besides, it was only thanks to the RMP's involvement that we were able to catch the culprits in the end. Oh, there's no need to be so modest. All we did was physically arrest the culprits. The rest was entirely on you. If not for your assistance in stopping the criminals from escaping, we would have missed our chance to intervene altogether. I believe the credit for this achievement is yours, and yours alone. <laughs> All this attention is kind of embarrassing. Still, I suppose it would be rude not to accept your thanks. Indeed. You should all be very proud of what you've accomplished here. So, can we leave everything in your capable hands from here on out, Captain? Of course. I'm intending to leave a number of soldiers here for the time being. Rest assured that we'll take care of any further problems that may arise. We are greatly obliged. Still, while your personal loyalties may differ, both the RMP and the Provincial Army are made up of Erebonian soldiers. So I'd appreciate it if you tried not to stand out too much. Your presence may create some anxiety among the locals. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Thank you for your cooperation with our report. I'm sorry to take up so much of your time. No, no, not at all. And, um, we really appreciate you coming to our aid like that. Oh, there's no need to thank me, really. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I regret having stepped in at all. Overcoming such an impossible situation was probably meant to be part of your field study, too. To build character, perhaps. What? Yeah, I may be good, but I'm not that good. Oh! I instructor? I was wondering when you'd show up. It's been a while, Sarah. That it has. Six months, give or take? Honestly, I had no idea you RMP folks were gonna get involved with this. I suppose you had everything that was happening here figured out all along. <laughs> you overestimate my abilities. I did receive a report that suggested there might be trouble here, but that's it. Oh, from your brother, I take it. Nothing gets past you lot. We're just trying to make sure we're prepared to deal with any problems that might arise. But I'm sorry to say I don't have any more time to catch up with you right now. I really need to be taking my leave. I wish all the best to you and the rest of Class 7. Ah. Oh. 
Was she really part of the military? She didn't... Or was she really part of the military? She sure didn't seem it. Her movements and actions, however, were those of a skilled officer. Highly skilled. Yeah, and the rest of the railway military police seemed really well trained too. You know her, Instructor? You could say that. Anyway, it looks like you've managed to finish up all the tasks I laid out for you. So I think it's time we take our leave of this place too. Understood. Do take care, everyone. Give my regards to Principal Van Dyke. And if you're ever in the area again, please do come to the market and say hi. You'll be more than welcome. We will. Uh, thank you for everything. Well, I'm pretty sure the Provincial Army was heavily involved in that case, and they kind of just uh, got off scot-free, so... Whatever. Whatever game. Oh, do we get to play Blade again? She's asleep again. You don't think she's faking it, do you? Hmm, nope. Judging by her breathing, I believe she really is asleep. Well, it sounds like Group B turned out to be a complete disaster. If she had to deal with them, then come back here on the same day, I'll bet she's totally spent. Yeah, good point. Anyone would be exhausted trying to sort that out. It's hard to imagine her actually working hard, though, considering her usual attitude. It does seem as though she's genuinely looking out for us, however. So, this is how our first field study trip comes to an end, huh? I think I might have an idea now as to why we're here, though. I had the same thought. Testing the Argus is clearly a big reason for coming here, but it's not the only reason. I think it has more to do with making sure we see everything that's going on with our own eyes. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too. Learning more about places in Erebonia we've only read about in books. And getting to see the issues occurring in those regions firsthand, just like in Keldic. Indeed. And just as we thought and acted swiftly in the face of crisis this time, so too may we be called upon to do so again. These field studies may aim to test and cultivate those skills in preparation for our futures. Exactly. Add to that good judgment, decisiveness, and general conduct. And I'd say we have a pretty clear picture as to why we're out in the field. Basically, we're training everywhere we go. Well, you're about half right. Instructor. I was so certain you were sound asleep. <laughs> what can I say? I can nod off and back on again in the blink of an eye. It's what I do. As you rightly noted, having first-hand knowledge of the areas to which you might be deployed is of tremendous importance. As is the ability to make swift, accurate judgments and solve problems with or without orders. Developing all these skills to their fullest is definitely a major part of why you're undertaking these field studies. Just as I thought. It's an interesting approach, but honestly, I've never heard of any other military academy trying it. Hmm. You say we're only half right, however. Which begs the question, what's the rest of the story? Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh, no, not at all. I was just thinking about what we did during our field study and why we were doing it. The whole concept seems eerily similar to the M.O. of Bracers. <sighs> now that you mention it... The Bracer Guild prides itself on protecting civilians over all else, so it seems an unusual source of inspiration for a military academy. But the tasks we were given in Keldic do seem to align themselves quite well with the Bracer's basic philosophy. Yeah, I guess so. Their emblem depicts a supporting gauntlet, and that's pretty much exactly what we've been for these people. Bracers still have branches all over the continent, but you hardly ever see them in Erebonia anymore. <laughs> well, you got me. Which means... <sighs> <sighs> How are we?
are we ever supposed to take her seriously when she says things like that, then conspicuously falls asleep? Well, whether or not we did in fact get her, it still seems like brazers are somehow related to our activities here. Not that Instructor Sarah is likely to come clean about our involvement anytime soon. I suppose until she does, all we can do is prepare ourselves in body and mind for our next field study. Yeah. Hmm? Is there something else bothering you? Oh, no. It's just... Well, we've been in the same class for a month now. And this whole time I've been... kind of keeping you in the dark. What do you mean? You aren't referring to the issue regarding your swordsmanship, I take it? No, it's not that. It's something I've been hiding from you all this time. Regarding my social class. What? Are you saying your family... Yeah, I dodged the question when Machias asked. But technically, I come from a family of nobles. Uh, uh. My hometown is Ymir, in the Northern Mountains. I'm the son of its ruler, Baron Schwarzer. You're from Ymir? Schwarzer? Now that you mention it, I have heard the name before. An honorable family, closely tied with the Imperial family themselves, despite being headed by a mere baron. I... I never would have imagined you might be the son of a noble too. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected you to. I don't act like one. My dad and mom are both quite easygoing individuals. They don't behave like your typical nobles at all. And technically, since I was adopted, I don't have any actual noble blood running through me. I'm upper class in name only. So... you... Hmm. Sounds like you've got your own issues to deal with, just like the rest of us, huh? <laughs> I don't think of it as a big deal, and I don't want you to think of it as one either. I just... didn't want to keep it a secret any longer. After everything we've been through these past few days, I owe you guys that much. I mean, you're all going to be a major part of my life from here on out. It's only fair to share as much as I can with you, right? I don't know what to say. You consider us to be major parts of your life? Honestly, has anyone ever told you that you can be way too serious sometimes? Just be sure you reveal your true identity to the others when we get back, too. Oh, I intend to. <laughs> ah, you... Still, even dismounting the strangely perfect timing... Discounting the strangely perfect timing of the railway military police... That ruler of the forest they ran into in the nature park. Hmm. Seems to be a harbinger of something big happening behind the scenes. Hmm. Sure does. Because they heard a flute, right? So he was baited there. I mean, I don't think they made that monster, but I think they called it there to attack them. I must admit, I wasn't expecting the Icy Maiden to show up when she did. We may need to adjust our plans to compensate for this interference. That won't be necessary. This was not a significant setback. If anything, it provided an unexpected bonus. Giving us a valuable glimpse into the means through which the RMP and Intelligence Division coordinate their efforts. With both organizations posing sizable threats to our operation, that information alone makes this all worthwhile. <laughs> A valid point. Should we proceed as planned, then? Of course. The tyrant must yet face the merciless hammer of judgment. Yes. May his lofty ambitions be crushed to dust and swept away. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. So that's the end of chapter one, unconventional studies. Um, I just think I ended up with a lot more questions than answers. Ooh, you're um, moving up in the world. But we ranked up, which is nice. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. And got a medal of fortitude as a perk. So I knew that this was very reminiscent of Bracer stuff, Keep so... Keep up the good work! I wonder what that involvement is all about. This is the end of the chapter. <laughs> good showing, everyone! We got an A as a grade. I don't know if you can get better than that. And our bonds have strengthened, apparently. So our link level 2 with Elisa. Which is weird, because we never had them linked together, so they can do finishing blows now instead of just link attacks. So everybody's, uh, went up. Or not really. Nice. Okay, we'll take a break here. Uh, next time we'll continue on with what I'm assuming is the start of Chapter 2. So as always, thanks for watching. Oh, we got a trophy! Yay! Alright, till next time. Thanks.